I'm just going to recite a poem that I wrote that I was driven to write after the march in London to save our NHS. And since I've got a whole raft of political guffins coming out of me. So hopefully you will enjoy this. It's called Nana Gets Her Groove. I'm a grandma. I was born in the 60s generation. So I've lived through decades of numerous protestations. There's been marches for the environment, animal rights and the war. Hunting nuclear weapons, the bedroom taxation of the poor. Poll tax, tuition fees, the closure of the mines. And although I've been there in spirit, thus far I've never stood on the front lines. Until now, I can't be an active anymore. It's up to us all to stand up to cuts. It's time to hear me roar. I've signed my fair share of petitions and I've put money in many a collection tin, but my slowness to take this call to action, it has been a regretful sin. So I went on my first proper march the other month from Tavistock to Parliament Square. Yes, the march against the cuts to the NHS. I was there. issue. NHS cuts and changes affect us all. Every single one of us needs to open our ears and hear this rallying call. You see the Tories, they passed the 2012 Health and Social Care Act in order to privatise through backdoor legislation. Fact. But we demand surgeon care, not virgin care. Babies asleep on two plastic chairs. This can't be accepted like nobody cares. Elderly lined up in corridors on a hospital trolley. Only given superior care if you've got enough lolly. The state of our health cannot be measured by the size of our wealth. Illness cannot be a business opportunity. We can't let the barstools get away with passive impunity. Parliamentarians with links in companies supplying private health care. They're pushing forward with STP because it's an answer to their personal investment prayers. Under cover of darkness, bits of services are being hived off and privatised. We can't let open access to health care disappear before our very eyes. Say no to the hideous planned corporate takeover. It's our NHS. It doesn't need no private makeover. You see, the likes of Niam Bevan, they'll get my vote. Just let's think for a moment about his famous NHS quote. He said, the NHS will last as long as there are folk left with their faith to fight for it. And each and every one of us has a bloody right to it. Publicly owned, publicly run and free at the point of entry. Not a private, means tested, closed organisation only open to landed gentry. Right wingers are blaming everyone but themselves. Like the doctors, the migrants. The obese, the smokers will get real, you bunch of Tory jokers, because behind the scenes you've been dismantling it and selling it off brick by brick while personally investing in private health care. You're profiting from the sick. Oh, I'm angry. I'm bloody angry. I'm one angry bloody bird. I'll shout, I'll chant, I'll wave it on a stick until our voice is heard. See my banner, you've messed with the wrong nana. <laughs> Illness of others cannot be a business opportunity. We need to come together with voices in loud unity. Come on, no ifs, no buts, no NHS cuts louder, no ifs, no buts, no NHS. Cuts one more! Hey, no cuts! No NHS cuts! Thank you!